Welcome to this James the Bike Guy where today we're checking out a bike from Specialized that is all set and ready to be a nice rig to shred. That's right, we're checking out the 2022 Specialized Fuse Expert Hardtail Mountain Bike. And in this video, we're gonna go into the features and designs of this rowdy hardtail, talk about the specs and features of the rig, and then of course, we're gonna find out exactly what it weighs. If this kind of thing is interesting to you, be sure to stick around and let's check out this bike together. The Specialized Fuse has been around for quite some time and Specialized lineup as a hardtail rowdy trail bike. A bike with a longer travel front fork than say, than their epic hardtail and a bike that's designed to be able to take on some rowdy trails that might otherwise be something you'd use a full suspension on. And this series comes in two different frame sets for 2022. The one we're looking at here is the M4 Comp Aluminum Frame, which has some extra features we'll talk about in just a few minutes. And then their base level versions will come in a more basic alloy frame that has 27 and a half inch wheels. So the bike we're checking out here runs 29ers with nice slack modern geometry, 130 millimeters of suspension up front, and a really cool sliding rear dropout that we'll check out in just a bit. And so those features come together to help allow this bike to tackle a lot of different trail designs and be a great place for somebody who's looking for a bit more bang for their money by sacrificing the rear suspension, but also getting a lot of extra weight savings as well as efficiency from a hardtail design. And beginning to talk about the frame, we should chat. It's their M4 aluminum frame. And what the M4 aluminum frame means is this is a shaped and budded frame. It's gonna run an inch and an eighth to inch and a half head tube, so nice tapered setup. You have really nice internal cable routing to go all the way through the bike. A 73 millimeter threaded BSA bottom bracket, which is always great to see. A 34.9 seat post diameter for a nice chunky durable seat post. And then in the back, it's got this rear sliding dropout. So if you check that out there, that sliding dropout allows up to 15 millimeters of fore and aft movement. That does a couple of things. That allows us to run up to 29 by 2.6 inch tire in a 29er, or a 27.5 by 3.0 tire all in this frame. And part of allowing that to happen is gonna be this elevated chainstay. So you can see the chainstay is super thin between where the bottom bracket is and where the tire goes. And if we go below, you'll see it kicks up just a little bit. Kicks up, goes back to the sliding dropout. And so you can adjust the handling of the bike by kicking that tire forward or pushing it back to allow for an even meatier tire or to gain some stability. And talking about geo on this frame, we'll start off with our head tube angle is gonna come in at 66 and a half degrees. It's got a 74 degree seat tube angle, a 420 millimeter chainstay length, and then it's gonna have a reach in a size medium of 440 millimeters. Now that's about 20 millimeters longer than the previous generation frame. And that's helping to make for a roomy front center to the bike, which is gonna help with handling and some of the stability, especially when descending. And controlling that front wheel is the Fox 34 rhythm fork. This is the less expensive OE variant of the Fox 34, so it's gonna run a similar chassis setup to it. And installed is going to be their fit grip damper with rebound adjust down below. And as we go to the top of the drive side stanchion, this has a compression adjuster with infinite adjustment from open to firm. 34 millimeter stanchions. And on the non-drive side right here, there's gonna be a cap to be able to adjust air pressure in the fork, as well as the capability of running air tokens to dial in the way that that front suspension works on this bike. Cockpit wise on the expert variant of this bike, we've got an alloy handlebar, super wide 31.8 millimeter bar with a stout stem, nice stubby stem to keep things quick handling. And then out back is the body geometry bridge saddle mounted up on a trans X dropper post. Now this dropper post is gonna come in different drop lengths based on size. In a size medium here, we've got 125 millimeter and large and extra large will go 150 while smaller bike sizes will be 100 millimeter. And to operate that dropper, we've got the one by lever on the handlebar. Just give that a press dropper post will rise back up and if you put your body weight on and push that lever forward it'll drop right back down 
This bike being an expert level means that it's going to be well specced with a 1x12 drivetrain. So up front we've got a single ring and 12 speeds out back going through a super wide range cassette. So this is the SRAM GX Eagle drivetrain. So we have a 10 tooth all the way up to 52 tooth cog and that gives us a 520% range being shifted via the SRAM GX Eagle rear derailleur and it goes forward to a SRAM crank set with a dub spindle and a 32 tooth narrow wide chain ring mounted to it. Slowing all that progress down is gonna be the SRAM G2 RS brakes. These brakes have a reach and stroke adjustment and then down at the caliper, they operate four piston calipers on these center line rotors. And finally, connecting the bike to the ground is gonna be via the specialized eliminator tires. This is the grid trail tire in a T7 compound, and this will be one of the more durable versions of the eliminator. Grid setup has a uh, very reinforced sidewall and tread section, and the T7 compound is the middle gumminess. So it should allow this to roll pretty fast and have good grip, but also have lots of durability. And the wheels are going to be the stout SL rims. These stout SL rims have a 29 millimeter internal width, they are tubeless ready, and although these 29 by 2.6 inch tires do come with tubes from the factory, a set of valves as well as some rim tape and sealant, and you'll be running tubeless in no time. Actual weight of the Specialized Fuse Expert in a size medium comes in and weighs 27.92 pounds. Thanks for watching this video on the 2022 Specialized Fuse Expert. Go ahead and let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. While you're at it, please hit that thumbs up button. It lets me know you enjoyed the video. And definitely hit subscribe while browsing the channel so you can see more videos like this in the future.